Well, I've just started on the little down set and I'm cleaning this with a, a suitable cleaner, nothing too abrasive. And as you can probably see there, the years of grime, are, I'm just actually lifting off of the down set and it's revealing the rec scene in its original condition, which doesn't look too bad to be honest with you. You can see the actual state of it where it's overrun there, look. That's the, using the cleaner that I'm using. Let's get that off of there. And um, yeah, it's not coming up too bad, so I'll just continue and we'll have a look at the end result once I'll just give it this once, once over with the uh, cleaning solution. Well, this is just its first initial clean. Don't forget, this is more of an investigatory clean. As you can see, what we've got there is the delicate pattern on this uh, rec scene that we don't really want to damage. So, uh, just to show you a contrast as to what we've actually got originally, where it's run down the side the cleaner there, you can actually see the rec scene is actually, although it's in good condition, it is actually filthy. So this is just a pre pre preliminary clean, just to uh, see what we've got. And this is just a quick once over before I actually strip the box down so I can get, uh, clean it properly. Well, as you can see there, I've actually restored the cabinet on the down set and it's looking mighty nice, I must say. The colours really come back well with what I've done to it. Uh, we've got new hinges on there. We've just cleaned up the uh, original brass work there. The hinges on the back were okay. So, And I've also got a set of legs for it as well. So she's actually standing on legs, which is uh, very, very nice. So the, uh, the internal board I've, I've just done that again has been restored and the lid has actually been restored as well so I'm just not quite finished that off yet um, the plan turn is okay there's the grill again which is had a clean and the record deck itself has all been uh, stripped down and lubricated and that's back to A1 condition as well so yeah this is the down set coming on well I'm working on the amplifier at the moment so I'm just giving that an overhaul I'm uh, waiting for some parts to come for that. But this is looking really, really good now. So I'm well pleased with that one. And let's just show you, a, well, this is what I've got at the bottom there, as you know, the other record players are ready uh, to be renovated. But you may remember the hacker, which we've previously worked on, which is now taking its pride of place there. And it does sound lovely. And it's in, actually, as you can see, very, very nice condition there. So that's already in situ there. And we're loving that as we've been playing that. So yeah, I'm well pleased with, well pleased with that one. But look what I've just bought now. It's another hacker. And it's also got the separate amplifier speaker with this one and all. It's in a bit of a state, mind you. It's gonna need some love and attention uh, showered on it. Let's just show you a bit closer. This has got, well, it looks like some sort of a, I think it's a Garage 3000 deck there. I'm not familiar with this one. It's in a bit of a state. It's got the little control knob missing off of there. The mat's obviously missing off of there. It, it does an auto return or anything and the inside of the case as you can see it's, it's very very grubby so it's going to need uh, again a total strip down this one the grills have fallen off the back there as you can see and, um, need reattaching where are we? get out of there oh, they're caught underneath there I can't get it out um, let's have a look around it again bits of Rexine which are hanging off the front grills are in good condition now, I must say, on both units. So um, we're quite lucky there. And I actually think this is a later model. This has got a slightly different hacker logo on it. I don't know if you can see that there, uh, as compared to that one, which is the one I'm familiar with on the other unit. And as you can see on the control knobs on this one, uh, the little Chinese hats have gone on these three again. But it's complete though, it's all there. But on this one, for example, it's got three different sets of knobs on it, and as you can see, I think these are the later version mob, uh, mobs, <laughs> knobs. So I would imagine that this one, once I strip it down, I'll have a look inside, it's probably a later version one. Again, catch broken on this side, just generally very grubby, as you can see. It's going to need uh, some restoration to the casing, obviously. But I've not started up. It does light up the lady when I, when I went to pick this up. Um, she uh, felt she needed to plug it in and show me, but... Um, both units did light up but I've not actually tried these at all and I'm not going to but yeah so there's a lovely hacker uh, gondolier there and I think this is an AL is it an AL42 is it I'm not sure let's have a look on the back what is this called yeah it's an AL42 amplifier loudspeaker there we go so that's obviously the input there down there so the first time I've seen one of these this is new to me so it's all there though that's the main thing and 
apart from a little bit of very small bit of fraying on that one this, this again is in very nice condition so this is another one which we're going to be restoring possibly after I've done Dan's set so yeah stay tuned so that's what I've been up to at the moment hope you've enjoyed this one thanks very much and speak to you again soon Oh.